and Ti Allah, Ti Rasul, all of the Amri mean for and always a reminder from myself, Ana Amdu Bilajis, Da'if, Miskeen, Razal, Jahan. For the grace of Allah that we are still in existence, that we took this path of being nothing and that Allah guide us. And the tariqah is based on good manners. We talked last week that this way is based on good manners, the school of good manners, the school of, of good character. Once the character and the manners are gone then everything <coughs> from the benefit of the tariqah is gone, means that there can take no more benefit. When the student loses their good character and good manners, alhamdulillah episode aired on Saturday that was a time from these talks in Ramadan about guidance and light <coughs> and building one's faith. And because of the, the light and the proximity to the love of Sayyidina Muhammad it's based on manners. The good manners, the good character, keeping respect, keeping one's mannerisms towards the Divine, asking ourselves to lose the animal characteristic and move more towards the Divine and heavenly realities. And in a world where it becomes so much more difficult and so much more satanic that everything around now from music, TV and every type of media influence is geared towards destroying the characters of insan because shaitan knows the same reality. It's not their knowledges <coughs> that will raise them because mashaAllah everybody is, is knowledgeable now from internet and studying every type of uh, knowledge available through YouTube. So it was the character that shaitan knew that if he destroyed the character, destroyed their ears and what they hear and that the influence of the ears would affect their language, their speech, their manners, their character, their level of respect, all of those would be destroyed and would destroy the character and any type of barakah and blessings that Allah would dress upon the servant. This whole way of reality is based on these manners and good character. Based on the good manners and good character Allah can dress the servant with anything and any type of knowledge. But the pursuit of knowledge or pursuit of anything with bad character is complete corruption. It corrupts the soul, corrupts the physicality. We pray that in this Ramadan and this Bab and Maghfirah the first 10 days was the light of rahmah and mercy that would allow us to enter. And the second 10 days are the oceans of maghfirah and forgiveness in which we are busy asking forgiveness, asking Allah's forgiveness, the forgiveness of Sayyidina Muhammad and that Allah wash us and cleanse us with the perfection of Ramadan and the perfection of Divine lights, the perfect, perfection of Holy Qur'an that the Holy Qur'an to dress the soul of those whom Allah's ridha and satisfaction and pleasure is upon them. And so alhamdulillah the litmus test for tariqah is not what people think they know but the goodness of their character, the softness of their character, the loving nature of their character that to see something wrong and remain silent. To, to see something that is not pleasing to you but to exhibit the best of character so that the, the, the khulq and that which makes Allah pleased is what will be nourished and blessed and dressed. Means that's the, the secrets of tariqah, this is where they shine and the identity of people can be raised, the reality of people can be raised by taking the path of good character when they have good character it allows them to be humble to listen. When they listen to the guidance and act upon what they've heard and what they've learned 
becomes the ocean of their faith and that's what the episode was about faith and the immensity and the immense importance of faith and that faith its secret it's so individual that as much as we have the good manners brings humility. When we have humility we sit and listen that, Ya Rabbi I want my faith to grow. Well how will faith grow if He doesn't guide us to a teacher? Because who will test you with your faith other than the general circumstances in life but then without a teacher you don't know what type of test that was. So as soon as Allah wants to raise the servant, He must give them good character so that they're humble, soft. With that humility and humbleness they begin to understand the teachings and they try their best to implement the teachings. As soon as they implement the teachings that's their individual ocean of faith. Means that's when people understand that nobody, you don't cut a shaykh and you think you took the shaykh out. You don't cut people out and think you took them out. But what happens is every individual person's faith becomes destroyed at the hands of their own action. So means that when we have good character and we're coming to the schools of faith and good character, when we listen and then implement the teachings and I'm going to now do these teachings, I'm going to listen to these types of teachings, I'm going to make it to be real so that my faith is real in life. I go out, I feed, I serve, I do these things, what he taught of this, what he taught of that. When I listen for myself not looking left and not looking right and I implement what I learned then Allah grants faith to the servant. The shaykhs don't grant faith, Allah grants faith. Allah is the owner of the heart of the servant. But we must be put in a condition to be tested for Allah to grant the reward of that test. And the turuqs and the tariqahs are these schools where Allah guided you to be there, to listen to that teacher, to have good manners and good character, to be humble. As a result of what you listen to and you acted upon it, Allah opens then the faith of the servant. And that's why it's so individual because there could be hundreds sitting and each at a completely different level of faith and understanding. And with all the events that are happening in life based on the faith of people, Allah opens for them everything to be real. So we said before in the video on the weekend was describing that, that when we talk of Armageddon it's not a matter of it didn't come and you people always say that. But the one who has faith it came and they witnessed through their heart what Allah wanted them to witness of an Armageddon. What Allah wanted for them in their own individual being, they saw and witnessed an Armageddon. They witnessed the destruction and the bad character and, and dunya and all its collapse. And as a result Allah opened for them realities and visions of these beatific souls that don't require the physical earth to be destroyed but what it requires the nafs of people and the block upon their nafs and upon their mind. So as much as you make your belief to be real always its foundation is good manners and you live by it, you understand it, you don't try to think of it through your mind, it becomes real for you. As a result of becoming real then you are with Imam Mahdi salam, you are with Sayyidina Isa salam, you witness what Allah wants you to witness of realities. And that's what's important in our lives and people whom they don't work on themselves and they don't exhibit good manners and they don't exhibit good character, then there can be no claim to piety when the character is not good because then all the praying it didn't change their character, all their fasting didn't change their character. When the mouth is foul, the actions are foul. The then love becomes hate, means all of these characteristics then show that it was not something firm. 
And the difference between these types of people and awliyaullah is that their faith is, is a deep root. Their root and the trunks of their tree go very deep into the reality of their soul. Means that they're firm. Means when Allah describes that the, the, the mountains are like awtad, mean because they're like pegs. That their faith is so solid and strong, it goes so deep in their characteristics. As a result, they're like green, evergreen trees that at any time you with them, your faith becomes strong and secure by the level of their faith. And what they're trying to avoid are people who live their lives like a flower on a rock. Their claim is that they're pious, they're good but they're like a flower on a rock that's not rooted into anything. And the slightest bit of rain, any type of testing, any type of agitation brings out the worst of them and that flower what happens when it's growing on a rock is it washes away. The faith, the character all washed away. What Allah wants that to exhibit the character like awliya that their roots are very deep in their faith. Their character is, is firmly been tested that no matter wind and storm and tufan and every type of difficulty comes, they try their best with all their practices to adhere to their faith, their character, to be truthful in love and truthful in the way of the character of love. And that's what this, this ten days, second ten days of maqfirah and asking Allah forgiveness is, Ya Rabbi grant us this true character, grant my roots of my iman to be deep, deep in an ocean, firm into your grasp, istiqamu fi tariqat means hold firm to the path, this path of ishq and love and not to be like a flower on a rock that as soon as something comes you don't like it, as soon as something comes you talk bad about it, as soon as something doesn't come your way you're angry at the heavens, angry at Allah, angry at everything. And that's just a flower that comes and goes but may fool itself because it thinks it's beautiful and it's a flower but in reality there's no roots and the, the slightest difficulty is making it to come off and flow away and wash away. We pray that Allah make our roots to be firm and that's why the, the purpose of testing and the purpose of this way of ishq that Allah make the roots to go deeper and deeper and deeper, that their good character always to be shining and exhibiting the good characteristic that Allah is pleased with and to be firm in the way of ishq and muhabbat in the love of Allah and love of Sayyidina Muhammad Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.